Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. This is Unité 17, leçon F. And in this lesson, we'll see together les verbes pronominaux and more precisely, les verbes pronominaux réciproques. Okay, so we saw previously, or in the previous video, les verbes pronominaux réfléchis. And in this video, we'll see les verbes pronominaux réciproques. Okay, so let's start now. And uh, well, the good question that we could ask is, what are les verbes pronominaux réciproques? So let's see. And the first thing that you should keep in mind is that you will need two persons. So la personne numéro un. And then la personne numéro 2. Okay, and the concept is that la personne numéro 1 will do something that will affect la personne numéro 2 and la personne numéro 2 will do something that will affect la personne numéro 1. Okay, and this is what we call les verbes pronominaux réciproques. Let's see an example. And one good example will be se parler. Okay, so when you get the sentence or the subject, and here the verbs il se parle, okay, in that case it's quite clear. They speak to each other, if you want to translate that directly. This is the concept, so they speak or they talk to each other. And this is exactly the main, main concept of les verbes pronominaux réciproques. So, la personne numéro 1 parle à la personne numéro 2. La personne numéro 2 parle à la personne numéro 1. So, this cycle, okay, will actually symbolize in a way this concept of les verbes pronominaux réciproques. Okay? So, as we have two Persons, la personne numéro 1 et la personne numéro 2, it means that le sujet est au pluriel. Okay, so the subject will need to be at the plural form, of course. Like we have here, il se parle, if you look, the subject is il and it's the plural form. Be careful because in some cases, well, let's say that it will be difficult in some cases to really understand. So, utilisation et compréhension parfois difficile. So, we'll, I will give you a good example here. You've got this thing. Il s'admire. Okay, s'admire, it's to admire. So, il s'admire. So, of course, you get the plural form and then it's verb pronominal. So, probably you could think that it's a verb pronominal réciproque. In, in this uh, example, but actually it is possible to have, of course, two persons, okay, because we've got, we've got the plural, but in, in this situation it would be also possible that the first and the second person, they admire only themselves, okay, so it's actually not as we saw previously you know, they admire each other, but it, it could mean, in that in that uh, sense, it could mean that they admire themselves. And in this case, well, this il s'admire would be considered as a verb pronominal réfléchi. Okay? But then, of course, the same sentence can mean, as we saw previously, this concept of verb pronominal réciproque. So, la personne numéro un admire la personne numéro deux. And then la personne numéro 2 admire la personne numéro 1. And in that case, of course, the, the meaning will, would be a verb pronominal réciproque. So they admire each other. Okay, so it is tricky in some cases. Normally, it doesn't come like that. So normally you've got a, con a con context. And normally you, you tend to understand quite fast and quite well if it is pro, uh, verb pronominal uh, réfléchi or verb pronominal réciproque. Okay, so but if it comes just like that without anything before or anything after, well, it can be tricky because as we saw, it, it can mean two different things. Okay, um, be careful when we make the passé composé form because, of course, as we are using être here, okay, we will have to put at the end, well, whether the feminine or the plural. So when you get ils se sont regardés, so in this case, you will have to add this final 
S at the end because it's the plural. And then if you get the feminine form, elles se sont regardées, then you will get E for the feminine and then S for the plural form. Remember that uh, we don't pronounce them, so you will get phonetically regarder and then here the same form regarder. Okay, so you don't pronounce anything after your E, but still you should write them if you want to write correctly. Okay, so masculin pluriel and then féminin pluriel. And this is it. I hope it was useful. Uh, we will continue a little bit in the next video with uh, les verbes pronominaux. Okay. But then have a great day. Au revoir et à bientôt.